Assalamu alaikum students, this is Farwa Batul, your O-level computer science instructor and welcome to another video of chapter number 10, Boolean logic. In this video, we will be starting activity 10.2. It has uh, different parts. Let's uh, start with part A first and then we will do the other parts in the next video. Okay, the activity says that produce two tables from the following logic circuits. In part A, there is one logic circuit that is given to you and I have also pasted a truth table in front of me. So I will make a little changes in the truth table and I will show you that how it is going to be filled. So look at the circuit first. In the circuit, you have given three, four logic gates. So let's quickly see that what are these gates. The first one is your end gate, A and D end. This one is your OR gate. This is your NOT gate and the final one is another OR gate. So let's quickly see the inputs of these gates. Here is input A and this one is input B. A and B is going into the AND gate. And let's say if the output of this AND gate is, uh, let's name it P. Next, we have OR. OR is taking A as an input and B as an input. And the output, let's suppose it's Q. Then we have an inverter. Inverter, let's suppose the output of the inverter is R. And R and P is going to the OR gate, another OR gate, final one. And it is giving us X as the output value. The final output is this one, X. So now quickly see the truth table. In the truth table, let's just write down all of these operations that you have to perform in each of the columns. First of all, A, B, C are your input values. So look at this. We don't need the column of C. Why? Because C is not an input. In this given circuit, we have only A and B as our initial input values. So the combinations will be 2 raised to the power n, where n is the number of inputs, 2, a and b. It becomes 4. You have 4 input combinations. Let's quickly make the combinations. In column of b, write down 0, 1, 0, 1, alternate values. In column a, write down 2, 0 and 2, 1. I already explained you how we make these different combinations. Um, in the previous video so kindly go and watch them now see the column of p p will be calculated by a and b you need to be very careful about this the end gate is taking a and b and giving us p output for q q will be calculated as or a or b so write down it's or between A and B. Now R. R is nothing but it is not the sauna, Q. Not the Q sauna. or we say Q bar in Boolean logic. Now the final is your OR. The OR will be done between P and R. So it will be P or R. Now let's quickly see the to table and let's do the working for these columns. In the first column, you have to do end operation between A and B. End operation is your multiplication. So let's multiply these binary bits. 0 into 0 is 0. 0 into 1 is 0. 1 into 0 is 0. 1 into 1 is 1. Next for Q, let's add A and B because it's an OR operation. Let's add these bits to calculate Q. 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 plus 0 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 1. For R, what you have to do, you have to invert the values of Q. Because it's written for R, it is not Q. So we will invert all the bits that are written in Q. First one is 1. The other one is 0. 0, 0. And finally, to calculate x, you will be having p and r and do an or operation between them. This is p and this is r. So let's add them. 0 plus 1 is 1. 
zero plus zero is zero. Zero plus zero is zero. One plus zero is one. So this is how you are going to calculate your final output. Thank you so much for watching the video. In the next video, we will be doing part B of this exercise 10.2. Stay tuned, stay connected and do not forget to subscribe the channel.